Welcome to another Jaltus Marine Vlog. We're gonna be showing you how to connect and how to perform an injectable coating on Avinrood. At the moment, we are the only aftermarket tool that's capable of doing this advanced functionality. First thing we need to do is select the outboard picture in order to access the brand menu and then select Avinrood. Now we can select the desired model. I will select the ETEC. 115 and by clicking into the connector symbol it will take us to the plug selection in this case just one option is available first picture shows the connector location second the connector image third the pinout detail and fourth the cables we need in this case JDC 600 is the marine adapter plus the avian root cable which is the JDC 609 M the this is connected to the Jotus link interface and this one is connected to the JDC 600. Well, as you can see we can also use the JDC 213M3 plus JDC 609A. This 213M3 it has an OBD and both works exactly the same. Read the instructions carefully because it is necessary to use the external power supply cable in order to give power supply. This is with the V8 interfaced box, the blue one, a minimum of 12 volts is required and using the V9 link, the black and white box, the power supply is provided through an adapter and the cable, either JDC 100 or JDC 100 and B. Now click connect. As you can see, Jaltus Marine is guiding you through the process. This is the diagnostics menu and in order to perform this action, first we click parameters, modify parameters, and then injector coding. As we will be performing an action that needs to write on the electronic control unit, we need the S remote code. This code is totally free and can be requested from your client area in our website jotas.com. Now select the box and accept. From now on, read the instructions carefully. In order to perform this process, you need to download into your cell phone any free QR code reader. Then scan the QR code which comes with the new injector you purchased. You will get quite a long code. You have three types of injectors from oldest to newest voice call BAP, BAPM. Depending on the engine's year and technology, the injector will vary. And you can easily identify the type of injector looking at the code's length. Now we click accept. Initial conditions, the engine must be stopped and we click accept. We select the desired injector and accept. Now you will see the current values, injector number, serial number and injector type. Now we click accept. And this is the current injection map of the selected injector. We have eight different scenarios and in the first column, we can see the control values dosage from each scenario. The understanding of all this is not relevant to perform the injector calibration. Now click accept. Introduce the new injector code. By clicking into the help button, it will take us to the initial instructions. As you can see, we cannot leave blank spaces and the separation is made by commas. Also, the minus sign must be always be entered and the plus sign is not necessary. You can also send the code from your cell phone to your computer or tablet by email and copy and paste it for an easier experience. Little trick, if you cannot read the code, use an app that can invert the colors, white into black and black into white, and then read the code again. You can also make a picture of your injector code and invert the colors with any computer software and read it from your device. Now I paste the code and click accept. For extra security, type again the same code and click accept. 
the process has finished. Click accept. And by clicking again on the same injector, we can double check that the serial number registered is the new one. And we can click accept and also consult the new injection map if we want. As you have seen, very simple process which can currently only be made with Jaltus Marine. Thank you for watching and see you again very soon.